Hello everyone! My name is Jennifer Stay and welcome to part two of our weekly live event. The first part was over on Facebook and Facebook was not doing what it was supposed to be doing. I guess Facebook's having some problems this week. So we decided to just abandon Facebook and come here to YouTube and do our live event for the rest of the evening here with all of you. So yay, we can just sit back and relax and enjoy the rest of the evening with you. So welcome, welcome and happy Mandela May. We've been discussing full set syndrome, a term that I coined a while back. I don't even know how long ago, but basically it describes the desire to collect all your art items until you have every single one and lately I've been going shopping with my friend Polly here let's say hi to Polly she's back <laughs> <laughs> she's got her little dog on her lap who just went outside to um, use the facilities <laughs> so she's back here with Leia and we are oh, Leia. discussing our trip to Blick and oh, when we were fun. over on Facebook we were discussing full set syndrome, my take on collecting art supplies and whether it's healthy or not. And we were just coming to the part where I was going to discuss whether collecting when it teeters over to the side of not being healthy anymore. Because my opinion is collecting art supplies is a very healthy thing to do because it has a very positive benefits. It's not just a collection of items we stick on a shelf and just look at. We actually get to use our collection. <clears throat> so everybody's saying hi. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Rachel downloaded that My Markers app. She's looking at it right now. Yeah, and that's how... It, it's a nice app. It's really convenient. And if you don't use it even to shop, it's just nice to know, okay, I have this, this, and this. Yeah, and that's part of what um, collecting is. As I was saying, it's sometimes... Uh, the best collections are well cataloged and well organized and that's how Polly keeps control and um, you kind of have to live know. in the RV. Yeah, and I think it's smart because no matter where you go, whatever store you show up in or... Provided you, know, you don't forget your phone somewhere. Yeah, but <laughs> we very rarely forget our phones nowadays. We used to, She's like, oh, you talk for yourself, Jennifer. Exactly. <laughs> so, I walk out of the house more times without it than I do with it. That's true, I guess. So that is the problem with that app. <laughs> so I went into the store with my swatch chart, which I did link this very swatch chart in the video description if you want to go check out the Tombow. This is made by Tombow, and it does feature all 108 because they do have their new um, 12. I think they came out yes. with 12 new colors. So this has the new 12 in it as well. So I went to Blick with a photo of this and Polly went with her fancy app and she was <laughs> shopping to fulfill her full set syndrome with her polychromos and was disappointed because our Blick is a mini Blick and didn't have all of the polychromos. But your app allowed you to go down and see which polychromos you had and which ones you needed. You did. And you were able to check off as you went along, which exactly. was really handy. I thought that was really great. And I just had a photo of this, and so I had Steve there to help me. Um, I guess we could show that her app on her phone. My phones Ooh. are busy, so we um, can show that. Carolyn just donated. Carolyn! La -dee -da, la -dee -da. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. We need to get Steve a piece of I paper. Oh, he's got it. He's taking care of it. So while Polly pulls up the app, um, I don't know how much of my long spiel about full set syndrome you guys heard and the good side of collecting. So we can kind Here's of the opening page. Um, remove your guilt for collecting because I don't want you guys to feel guilty. Um, for the longest time, I felt guilty about collecting art supplies. I want to take that away. And I'm going to tell you here in a second, um, here is what the app looks like. That's so if I clicked page. on pencils, is that right there? Pencils. Right there. So you can see there's her pencils. And then I assume scroll. if we scroll mm -hmm. down, You'll we'll find Faber Castell. Faber Castell area. And then there's her polychromos. And there you can see. So this is what she was looking at at the store and she would scroll along and we tried to find 103 ivory and it didn't have it so over here it says she's got she has or have 
all of these and then over here it says what she wants so technically this should say want right right I was telling her this really should say need <laughs> required yes <laughs> so I think this is really great this is a really great way to go to the store or to catalog what you have. I think this is Same really thing handy. Same thing, my pen pastels are on there. Yeah, and you don't have to um, haul around your swatch chart exactly. Bible. Like, <laughs> and I would lay have... it down somewhere and leave it. Yeah, so I think that's a really great resource for those of you who want to try something don't high techy techy. <laughs> All right, so that was Polly's way of doing it, and I had my little thing, and we're going to show you what we bought. So, um, there is another thing we need to do here, and that's announce the winner of the giveaway. So I'm going to do that here in just a minute. But I do <clears> want to mention, um, just to finish my thought before we move on so I don't lose my train of thought. And that's what happens when collecting passes into, we usually call it hoarding, is the negative term that we hear a lot. When full set syndrome or collecting turns to a negative thing. So I'm going to read to you the difference. The difference between collecting and hoarding. Items in a collection are usually neatly organized. They're maintained and presented or manipulated with ease. So in other words, your collection, if it's well maintained, you can find what you want generally um, and you kind of know what you have in general. So that's a good collection. If a collector wants to find a particular item from his collection, it's easy. Collections are often cataloged, sorted, and objectively maintained, kind of like, you know, a books in the library. It's very well organized. Hoarding behavior is the opposite. Items with no value or use are usually piled up in stocks without order or reason. So that's kind of the difference. So if you think about your collection of art supplies, is it just haphazardly thrown in the corner? You buy things and you don't ever really use them. They get just stuffed away. You don't really even know what you own. Is that the kind of behavior you're in? If that's the behavior you're in, maybe you do need to kind of check yourself. <laughs> <laughs> um, are you spending money you don't have? You That's know? when I think it becomes unhealthy. When Right. Are you hurting yourself or others with your behavior? Um, is it, you know, we're lucky. We have husbands that support our, our art. This is true. Um, I, you know, I think one of the reasons Steve supports my art is he sees that it gives me a lot of joy. It gets me out of bed. It helps me... Um, deal with my chronic pain. Why do you think Jan supports your art? Because I'm spoiled, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think that's true. I, I, He knows how I enjoy it, and it, it brings me happiness. And again, I hide in it from depression, from pain. Mm -hmm. And he sees this. Yeah. And that makes his life easier. Yeah. But I'm not ornery and on a rant. Right. He's a lot happier. You know the old expression, happy wife, happy life. Yeah. Well, there you go. Yeah. And do you, I mean, I think I know that I'm pretty careful about the amount of money I spend. I know that um, there are times when I probably spend a little more than I should. But I'm also really careful. And I talk to him about it. And he can, I, I allow him to give me feedback too. And so if he tells me, are you sure, you know, have we spent a little too much on art supplies this month? I let him give me feedback. Mm -hmm. And so, yes, we you know, I don't, that. I don't act spoiled about it. And so I think that's why he stays happy. Well, and I think that, the, <laughs> I think that the Tombos um, are actually a good example of that because that really is what started. It's when we came up with the term full set syndrome. Uh -huh. It was because of Tombos. Because we were looking at them and you've wanted them for so long, like a couple of years. Yeah. And, uh, you know, that's when we were joking that, oh, you just want the full set so bad. And I wanted the full set for you, but they were just too expensive. And so, I mean, it, you've been wanting those for a couple of years now. Yeah. And you finally got them. And look how happy Because of, you know, it's like, you know, Mother's Day gift and all that. Yeah, so, yeah. we combined Mother's Day and, and yeah. And I'm lucky because I've built a business around my obsession exactly. and, <laughs> and it all works out well. So it has worked out well for me. So I think I would love to hear your feedback now. 
Do you feel like you suffer <laughs> from full set syndrome? Do you feel like your um, suffering from full set syndrome is healthy? Do you feel like it teeters to an unhealthy time? Um, I would love to hear your um, feedback about it um, because I, I want you to feel like I do, that um, collecting art supplies is a healthy thing as long as we check ourselves and make sure that we don't get too carried away. Um, I think it can be very healthy, um, especially when it comes to art supplies because it brings us a lot of joy and when we share our collection, art brings so much joy to so many people and that is amazing that this collection that we have can do that that's power to bring joy to people that is power how cool is that so having said all of that i am ready to show you what is in my bags but before i can show you what is in my blick and michael's bags and what Polly has brought to show us. I want to announce the winner of last week's giveaway. So Steve, we mm. had me um, what was the prize from last week. Yeah, you bet. And Steve, I, we already did this over on Facebook, but I'm going to do it again because Steve loves saying this name. <laughs> <laughs> it is and fun. When he um, spun the virtual wheel to see who won these markers, he's like, oh yeah, I'm so excited that this is who won. And I'm like, who is it? And I was thinking, well, maybe it was Polly or maybe it was one of our other I big fans. Enter. She, Oh, you didn't enter? <laughs> I was gifted with a set I wasn't going to enter. Oh, that was nice of you. So the person who won has a really fun name that Steve likes to say. <clears throat> so Steve, at the top of your lungs, who is our winner? It's um, Michelle, a.k.a. Funky Light Tachikawa. <laughs> <laughs> so congratulations, Michelle, or Funky Light Tachikawa. Did I say it right? <laughs> You are the winner of these beautiful Windsor & Newton neon, neon markers. What does she need to do to win them or get them? Yeah, please uh, send me an email to support at coloringbliss.com and let me know what mailing address you want me to send them to. Okay, so I will hand these over to Steve and he will take good care of them until we hear from you. Now, if you didn't win and you're feeling sad and your full set syndrome is kicking in, don't dismay because we have another giveaway. It's already open and going and it's because of my full set syndrome that this giveaway has happened because you see I went to Blick and was trying to fulfill it and get all of my Tombos and there was one one that Blick didn't have just one and so I ended up <laughs> I ended up going to Michael's <laughs> to fulfill my full set syndrome and get my collection and what did they say the thrill of the hunt I went to Michael's and found it but I had to buy a complete box a package of them to get the one and so you guys are going to benefit from my full set syndrome and I'm going to give away some Tombow so I'm going to show that to you right now this is what I had to buy at Michael's to get the one you see that blue one right there that was the elusive marker that I couldn't get I either had to spend $35 on um, dickblick.com to get the free shipping to get the one or go to Michael's to buy this box and get the one and it was on sale for 17 so it was actually cheaper and then I was like you know what that's all right because I can give away the extras to you so what I'm going to do right now is take out the one that I want because you can't have it it's mine <laughs> <laughs> this is the one right here the final one that one's mine and in its place i have this duplicate right here it's a purple <laughs> i didn't say a word <laughs> and it's going in so it's still a full box so it's not technically the full bright palette box but we're going to keep it in this box so it'll ship nice and uh, this is what we're giving away right here for this giveaway so if you want to enjoy some more or start your full set syndrome with the tombows this is what we're giving while you get a colorless blender and nine one two three four five six seven eight nine beautiful colors to enjoy three purples and a whole bunch of other beautiful colors. So make sure you follow the link and enter to win these beautiful markers. Pens? Pens. pens. They're pens. I call them markers. I do too. I think it's a, even a United on, States thing. On the uh, my marker site, they come up under pens rather than markers. Yeah, interesting. 
Okay, speaking of other things that you can come and get, don't forget to come over to um, our blog. There's a link where you can download this mandala. It's a small version of the giant mandala that I drew. So if you want to watch me draw the giant mandala, there's a video here on YouTube. Plus I have the tools to help you draw your own mandalas. And is there other things they can download over there? Well, in our, in our Facebook group, uh, oh, a lot of young yes. members have created their own. In our Facebook group, there have been a lot of people drawing their own mandalas using this tool right here. And they have been so generous as to share the drawings they have been creating. And I believe they're sharing it into a special folder. Files. Yep. File. File? It's called Files. It's, yeah. It's if a you file. Go to, if you go to our group, click on Files, and yeah. it'll be there. So you need to join our group. Click on that and you can download their art too. So many mandalas, so much fun. So yeah. All right. I think we have chatted enough. Let's start playing with some art supplies. I printed a second copy of this for you, Polly, so you can play too. Because we have things to try, things to test, things to touch. So let's start with what we saw at Blick. And then we'll... We'll address what we did at, because there's other things in the Michaels bag, not just, because you can't just go to Michaels and buy one thing. No, it's not allowed. <laughs> so here's my Blick bag, and it's quite hefty. Is yours quite hefty too when we left? Yes. Mine is quite hefty. Well, that's what happens when you buy a whole bunch of Tombows. So let me... You've got all those markers. Mm-hmm. I'm going to move, I'll keep this out. And I'm going to move my swatch chart over here. we got to make room. And my, my notes on full set syndrome. See? Notes. One of these days I'm going to make a full blog on full set syndrome. That's where those notes are for. So watch for that blog to sometime come up. Okay. So uh, this is one thing I bought. Actually, this was back when I went with um, Amy to Blick. Uh, Amy and the boys. I did that wrong. Hang in there. We'll get this right. That looks right. Uh, except I don't want my big face. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, uh, the, that and then that. No. <laughs> um, that and then that. Yes! I did it! Yay! <laughs> okay. Yay! So when I went with Amy to Blick, I don't know, a couple months ago, she found these for me. So I'll be um, swatching and playing with the new colors. All I've had of the metallic Sharpies has been the gold, bronze, and silvers. Oh, so these this are colored metallic. You want to try them? Crack into them. She'll, she'll start right swatching them for me so I can show you what else is in here. By the way, Jennifer, Ashley complimented your, your shirt. Oh, isn't it pretty? Thank you. It's so, pretty. It's so butterfly flowy and fun. All right, so you guys know the first thing I'm going to pull out are all the Tombos to finish my set. Now, Amy helped me with this. When we did see her, she brought me some, and some of them I kept to help me fill out my set, and then the ones oh, I already have. They have names on them now. Mm. Cool. That's new. So the duplicates I had went to Bryson and um, Matthew that you guys know well here on this channel. So let me pull out. Okay, hand me your bag. I'll pull out the markers for you. My bag. My bag. All right, be there. <laughs> going to help. Uh, no, my bag. <laughs> nice. Play nice. Share the voice. My full set syndrome. <laughs> <laughs> I really haven't touched them. I haven't let myself because I've been working on the volume three of the um, Mandala Bliss that I finished. Yes, I have two new books to release to you guys. Not today because Steve's still doing his back end work and we have another surprise. <laughs> another surprise is coming for you guys too, but I can't tell. Steve says I'm not allowed to tell about that. Look at them. Where's my blue? Did I... The blue. Full set! Yes! <laughs> I'm so excited. I am literally getting goosebumps. <laughs> literally. Look at that. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, a little 
quite now listen <laughs> does that not just make you happy is am i the only one tell me i'm not the only one <laughs> oh and mary lynn just donated oh yeah. mary lynn thank you so much it's it's the joy of the full set syndrome oh yeah we can show them look at this fancy pen that um th that polly brought over for me to try isn't it neat she hasn't played with it much yeah. do you guys know anything about this brand tall cool. yeah it, pretty it's cool my daughter raves about them they're yeah. very expensive that's why she didn't get them <sighs> okay so my plan now that i have the full set i'll tell you real quick i have printed off um this chart from um if you are a bliss partner a bliss apprentice or a bliss colorist you have access to my tritone sets which includes um beautiful color wheels and then it uh, coordinates with the the color scheme selector so i want to create a full color wheel from the tombos and tritones with each of the colors for the tombos <laughs> just so excited and i've been waiting to do this because you know i was always like what if there's a better red or a better yellow or a better green now i have them all and I'm just so excited. So I've got them all. I need to swatch them. I'll be swatching them in multiple places here. I'll swatch them and then I'll swatch them in my big swatch book as well. So there'll be lots of swatching good fun to come. <laughs> and I'm just so happy. I can't believe I actually had goosebumps about it. <laughs> I am such an art nerd and I love every minute of it. So now we're going to put them in here. I reminded you, you better use them, Jennifer. Use it up, wear them out. You're right. <laughs> You're right. That was my um, January yep. New Year's resolution. And it's still staring at me right in use front it up, here. Wear it yep, so it is. we're really going to be doing it. So I'm going to put them all here. I now have the full set of top bows. I'm so excited. I've got room. These three rows right here, or four rows on my shelf. I don't think you guys can see. I see one. Yeah. These are all go away. Oh, That's okay. what these were planned for was okay. these four rows are for the full set. And then I'm going to take pictures and share and show. And I'm just so excited. Okay. What are those? <sighs> what are those? Oh. Oh, we're not talking about that right now. I was just curious what they were. Now. I got all kinds of stuff. Zig Winks of Stella oh. and, and, and brushables. Uh-huh. I got some of those. Some. Mary Lynn says, uh, about regarding the donation, she says, you're welcome. I'm getting oh. a kick out of Jen. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> I knew you guys would have fun with me. Okay. Jillian asked if Polly is there. Does that mean you can't use purple? Um, today, because it's my day to celebrate my full set, I'm just going to do whatever. And she, she knows, and that's great. <laughs> you didn't like swatch your thumb or anything. Sure. Here. Here, or on here, or on here, whatever you want to do. Okay, and I've got two other things in here that I got at Blick. You know, one of my things that I recommend you do before you dive into a full set, um, especially if money is a concern, is um, if you're at a store like Blick where they sell individuals, it's called open stock. If you've ever heard that term and wondered, it's called open stock when you can buy one of a full set. Um, I've been wanting to try these pencils because a lot of you have recommended them. And so they had a display of these at Blick and I thought, okay, I don't want to buy the full set because I'm investing in the Tombows, but I do want to try them. So I decided to buy six because at Blick, when you buy six or more of a certain type of tool, they usually give you a price reduction. So the six was the, the price to hit, the place to hit, and I wanted a light, medium, and dark of two different colors. And um, that was kind of where my thoughts went. I want a light, medium, and dark, then I can practice coloring with them, see if I love them, and if I do, then I can go for the full set. So these are the um, Faber-Castell Albrecht Durer, Durer, how do you say that? You used to live in Germany. <coughs> <laughs> Albrecht Durer. Albrecht <laughs> you, you, you did better with that than me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's what they look like. These are water soluble pencils. I wanted to do a more of a blue violet, but they didn't have the best blue violet, so I went for more red violet tones and greens. 
um, they'll make a good color scheme and I think it'll work great so I got six um, and I'm excited because you guys have told me these are great so that's what else I bought and then this is another tool that you guys have told me to try and I let Steve pick these colors so Steve tell me why you pick these colors okay these are the Karen Dash Neo Color 2 Aquarels that you guys have been telling yes. me about. <clears throat> well, you you already kind of had some of the other colors, so I thought I'd get some blues for me. Because Steve <laughs> loves blue. Uh, and then I thought I would get some purples for you, but they didn't have a really good dark purple that matched. Yeah. And so I decided to also get two oranges to be complementary to the blue. Oh, complimentary. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this is the Neo Color 2 Aquarelle Karen Dash. They're water soluble. There's Neo Color 1s, which are not aqua, um, water soluble. And then there's the Neo Color 2s. And I have some of the Neo Color 1s, I believe. I can't remember. I'm getting confused. I need to um, mm -hmm. write them all down because I have my water soluble stuff all written down. Let me show yeah. you. Oh, yeah, or use her app. I have all my water friendly art media logged like this. And I need to do that for my other art supplies because I think this has been so great to have all my water friendly stuff written in one place so I can remember what to try, what to pull out and then what to enjoy. So I want to do the same thing for like my markers and my pencils as well. So these are more water soluble ones I get to play with and compare with some of the other things like the Maribou's that we played with last week. Okay, and Polly just oh, swatched the new metallic colors that I picked up and I'll move them in the light. Oh, whoa, pretty. They I like are. your handwriting, by the way. Oh, it's awful. No, it's very pretty. <laughs> I copy your A. Oh, yes. I had to, did you retrain yourself to do mm -hmm. that A? It took me a long time. Did it take you a long time? I so, still forget periodically. So yeah. those pencils were Faber-Castell Albrecht, right? Uh, yes, okay. Faber-Castell. Albrecht Drrrr. <laughs> it's not it English and I have a hard time. There, I've got it in the light just okay. right. Sure. With the umlaut uh, up top, how does that go, baby? Um, Here, pass him that pencil and see if he can help us pronounce it right. Yeah, he can look it up. <laughs> he used to know it. Yeah. I would look at him like, oh, what? <laughs> We lived I'm over not there. very good at that one. Okay. Uh, drawer. 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 Okay. <clears throat> now, okay. Teresa says, Polly, that you're a bad influence because she ended up ordering the gelatos the other day because oh. of last week. We had I'm so sorry. much fun with sort those of. gelatos, didn't we? <laughs> we got so messy and had so much fun with There's those gelatos. so many techniques you can do with them. And I found that that we did last week when I was cleaning up my studio on Monday and it dried really flexible like some of the supplies once it dries it can be like brittle. cracky and brittle and you can't really manipulate it and, and it stayed, stayed flexible oh, interesting. so that i thought i'd mention another that. neat tip with the gelatos is you can take a baby wipe and just rub the crayon with it and then make your backgrounds and whatnot mm -hmm. we need to play so more with pretty. those so i, I kind of want to do some. now that i've got these ones and I've got the Maribou's and I've got all kinds of like crayon type products that are water soluble. So I kind of want to do a battle of the water soluble crayon -y type products. I think that'd be a neat video. I some of those just really well. <sighs> yeah, that's a fun. So much fun. Okay, so that's the end of what's in my Blick bag. So really I only bought one, two, three things. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not quite. <laughs> Good try. <laughs> Very nice try. <laughs> All right, so let me show you what I got from Michael's, and then we'll see what Polly bought. <laughs> now, we never, did we ever do a thing on the Neo Color 1? Do we even have those? I do. Um, I've got a very small set, and we haven't played with those yet. I want to do, like, a comparison um, to, like, Crayolas. Because um, they're basically a really fancy crayon, is what the Neo Color 1s are. They're um, Are they water-soluble as well? No. No. So they're just a really fancy crayon. So, you know, my my best crayons are Crayolas. 
<laughs> so I'd like to compare them to Crayolas. Yeah, you can heat your paper. Kelly yeah. says that um, <laughs> Zuri, Soraya, sorry if I'm pronouncing your name incorrectly, instead of the Neo Color 2, I purchased the complete set of Lyra watercolor crayons. I love my Lyras. The Lyras, yeah. Um, I noticed that some of the Lyra products had gone on sale on, on Blix website. So if I had to have bought... $35 worth of stuff to get the one marker, I was going to buy some of the Lyra stuff. So I'll have to remember that about those Lyra ones. So, okay, that's good to know. All right, so then, like I said, I had to go to Michael's, had to, to get that one pen and then the pens for you guys. And so while we were at Michael's, you got to wander around a little bit and see what's on sale. And I've been wanting to get some pit pens because a lot of you have recommended them. I do have two giant fat ones that I never remember to pull out and try but I've been wanting to try these more manageable size and this package right here was on clearance not sale clearance let me tell you how much I got them for because I was like Steve hand it to me I was in my electric wheelchair that you guys have seen zooming around Michael's Steve was trying to keep up and I was like hand me that hand me that and so I said hand me that <laughs> um I got this for just 10 bucks oh, that's not bad. no so Six less pens a little over a dollar each well, yeah, and I think weren't they originally like 36 or something yeah or? of course it was inflated what size you is know? The nib? Let's, you want to break into it? Okay. Okay. So I did have these two. The well, you're so good at it. <laughs> and then there was one other item that we found that was on clearance, too. And I got them for... Uh, hmm. Ooh, teeny, teeny. Okay. But it's... it's hey, Jennifer, Don just donated. <gasps> Don, thank you so much. It's tiny, but it's not micro-tiny. No. Ooh, and it's very flexible. Look at that. You can get really wide. And this is India ink. Did you know that? The no. pit pens are India ink. So they are very permanent. Yeah. So I can't wait to play it's with them. It's got a B on it. I don't know what that means. I know. There's much to be learned. Shades and of blue. I've heard that I, I'm going to be really... I'm scared. Don't be. I'm going to do this. Okay, I saw someone do this. Steve's like, what are you going to do? These are brand new pens. I'm going to pull it out. Come on. Why are you doing that? Because I heard that... That oh, See? Look. It's, ref it's flippable. It's flippable. So if you wear out one end of your nib, you can flip it and stick it back in and you're good to oh, go again. <sighs> okay, you want to hear what it's it says true. about it? Yes. Pigmented India ink, extremely light, fast, waterproof, permanent, odorless, acid-free, pH neutral, available in 60 colors. 60? Mm-hmm. We have a problem. We have a problem. Uh -oh. <laughs> okay, so that flippable um, Especially on clearance. nib is really awesome, because I would be worried. Brush nib. Um... A few people have said B is for brush. Oh, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> and Tamara says, I absolutely love Pit Artist pens. They're amazing. Do you want to play with another um, one? Well, I think we better keep moving. Like yeah, I said, if you it was want very to swatch kind of Dawn to donate. Yeah, thank you so much, Dawn. Okay. And it's like blues and greens. That's All your blues. wheelhouse, man. All blues. This is kind of a blue greeny. Anyway, so they didn't have every package on clearance. It was just a couple, and that one I thought was the prettiest color. So that's the set I got was that one right there. Okay, there was one more thing on clearance, and I'm trying to see. Yeah, these ones were only $13. And looky, looky, looky. What have we got? Ah, some trite. And I already own a set, so guess who I bought these for? giveaways woohoo so not this week but in an upcoming video very soon i'm going to give this set of koinor tritone pencils away to you guys so make sure you hit subscribe and you hit like that you like all of the giveaways that i've been doing so this set right here i'll show you what set i own oh, already that pale blue wow whoa that'll be a good for shading wow this is the set that i own and i really enjoy coloring with them 
Julie, have you ever played with these? I think maybe. I can't remember. I don't know if I put mine in storage or not. They are really fun to play with. So these will be appearing as a giveaway very Look soon. Wow. So I'm so excited that I get to do these as they come with one blender pencil and then the rest are like a mix of different colors inside one lead. But it's really cool because it's a pre-tritone. So you get a mix of greens and a mix of blues all mixed into one now pencil. Now somehow Polly just donated to our channel. Oh! What? Somehow, I wonder how. Let you do that, Polly. <laughs> <You're> magic. magic. <laughs> <laughs> Two great minds on a single thought. Thank you, Jan. Thank you, Jan. <laughs> he was totally better. That's why he's Aww. got my phone. <laughs> Thank you so that was much, the whole Polly reason. and Jan. <laughs> Thank There's you. Your, all your colors, sweetie. Oh, that's all the colors <laughs> from this box that yes. I got right here. Right here, she did a beautiful sketch here for us. Look how light those two are. Almost not, can't see them, Almost. but they're very pretty. I wonder how that looks on a black. Yeah. Oh. Fun, fun. All right, so this will be in a future giveaway, so watch for this to come. All right, so that's what I bought. That was my day, my shopping day. Whoops. Are you ready I to do I your show, show and tell? I think I made Carolyn somebody. says that uh, those pit pens are Tracy's favorite. Oh. Yeah, um, I have these giant ones. You want to see the, the look at the nib on my. that? I wonder if that's the same colors as here. Oh, Jack. He just donated. Jack, thank you, thank you so you, much. Oh, we have the best followers and fans like those are the two colors yeah like this says it's color let's see what color it is one four six i suppose i have to look now or is it on the box i don't know i don't know anything about these pens other than everyone's been telling me about them and saying jen do you have the pit pens it says b <laughs> oh, 156. Oh, they do have no. I have one 120 and 146. 148. 40, 143. 220. 140. One, six. 146. So we do have a duplicate. Let's see if they're the same. <clears throat> Teresa says be. she's not telling the truth, Steve. So I don't know if it was a joke, like a inside <laughs> joke between the two of them. Oh, they're different. Okay, that's confusing. I'm they're totally sure they're two the different numbers. colors. Yeah. 146 and 146, but two different colors. That's interesting. I wonder if it's different, like different dye lots. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, she says Carolyn mm -hmm. was joking, and Carolyn says both Teresa and I are not crazy about the pit pens. Oh, okay. Just so they're not crazy about them. Well, we got to learn about them because they're a different creature. They're India ink. That's I wonder a different if it's a creature. Different okay. That's why. We, we, we've got lots to learn, but not tonight because we have more show and tell, and that's what Polly bought. We already hinted a little bit about what you were full set syndroming. Okay. And she brought other things here to show and tell. These are the elusive polychromos. Yes, and that so we were trying to. You're still not full setted, are oh, you? Oh, nowhere near. Okay, I may be able to help a little bit because I have some duplicates. Oh, I might cry. <laughs> 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 She's going to start getting goosebumps. Because <laughs> I had a fan a while back send me um, some. Uh -huh. And she had extras. And I had some. And there are a few oh, crossovers. Right. So Scotchy we'll have to teeth. see afterwards if I can help her full set syndrome a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> so this was all you ended up buying? Or do you know? Like I mean, like all of the Those polychromos. Those are the polychromos I bought. Because their display was like. It was very wimpy. It was very narrow, it was and it there. was like, yeah, it really wasn't. It was. I was shocked at it, it compared to what I saw in Florida. Yeah, that's all she ended up. I mean, it was getting, but look, how it was the, like the size of your white thing, and, and you taller. skipped over all the purples. Did I do that? Yes, she did. <laughs> Why would I do that? But that's okay because it's your money and uh, you don't have to spend your money on purple. I would have gone straight for the purple shell. <laughs> actually, look at him. Oh, you're right. That does have Can purple. 
What's it called? Mm. Oh, that's that Delft. Is that how you say mm -hmm. it? Delft. What does he look see? like? Scribbling. Yeah, he's got some purple undertones. Mm -hmm. But if you see, mix it with totally. blue, if you mix it with blue, we talked about this last night, how if you bring in a different color, it'll it'll Neutralize start to lean it. towards the other way. So if you wanted to hide the purpliness, just bring in a blue. <laughs> Why would I do that? Bring in a blue. <laughs> there are people I do things for that kind of like that color. You, yeah, you, you made me some, we showed last week your beautiful purple. Yeah, I gave you purple. Yeah. I made a purple blanket for a certain little girl. Mm -hmm. So very pretty. Okay, what else did you buy? I bought these and I'm rather disappointed. So tell us about it. Um, we went to the back of Blick and found a display. It includes some metallic spectrum noir, which we would love to hear from you guys. Um, they were like a brush tip spectrum noir. Mm -hmm which we were both like, ooh, what is this? But they were a little pricey, yes, so we they stayed were. away. We but then said. next to them were these. And I told it, you I have them, but I haven't played with them, so I can't give you anything to know about them. And you said, well, I must have them. I love anything with sparkle and shine and glimmer. So I, they weren't horribly, horribly expensive, so I grabbed them. And they are... And I sat down and I swatched them out. Yep. The colors did not seem true to the name, and they really did not seem to have much of a sheen to me. Did you activate them with water, too? No. Are they water activated? Yeah, see the little brush? Any water? Yeah, maybe that would make a difference. Yeah, we could. You want to try? You know where my supplies are. She knows. She went straight to my drawers. I know where your stuff is I'm now, glad. too. Remember? No, you're Wait just you're good. Okay, here. I'll I'll move Let's this right see here. What this and does. You play. I'm curious now. That was the pink. So she'll hit it with water here and we'll see what it does. If it does any better. I'm really disappointed. Does me. anyone else own the dirt? Oh. It's doing something. Sure is changing immeasurably. Look at that. Here, I'll do a little here, too. This is changes measure. It's like two different colors, Jennifer. Okay, let's activate it here, too, so they can see before. Here, I, I'll go to this view. Solo. And push it over so you can see. This, this. is this pencil here. Am I calling it pink? Yeah. And look how much more vibrant. So, yeah, it definitely That's needs what water. The problem but is right. it metallic? Let's let it Not dry terribly. and see what it does as it dries down. So I'd love to know from you guys, has anyone else bought the Derwent Metallics? And Not what has much, your Jennifer. experience been? <laughs> Let's see what it does as it dries. It's not dry yet. That's not fair. It's just the sheen from water. So right here. Is yours dry yet? Mm-hmm. This, this is on your tape down paper. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you drew on my tape down paper. Tape another paper on it. Yeah. That's <laughs> what it's there. <laughs> but it doesn't, it doesn't have much of a sheen. Yeah. It's pretty. It is pretty. It's kind of metallic -y colors. It even has a purple in it. Let's see, though. Trish says I was disappointed with those also. See, see highly me. reflective. No, they are not. It's claiming shimmering pigments. I was very disappointed. When used on dark backgrounds. Uh oh. Oh. Shall I'll we get some try. black paper out? That would be an idea. Well, I just so happen to have a stash. Huh. Annette just said that they look much better on black paper. Okay. Oh. Holly will swatch them for uh, us. Deanna has some and, gotcha, and doesn't Chief. like them either, but maybe the black will make a difference. Okay. Let's see what this does. Oh, now it does have a bit of a shine, the dry ones, but the wet. All the shine's gone. Okay. Let me move it in light. This is for Mr. Steve, the blue. Okay. Oh, thank you. Right here's where we're at. And I'll move it in the light. So you could, yeah, it's catching the, yeah, but not much. It does look better on the black. Look at that, Jennifer. Okay, here she just swatched the blue on the black. Hit it with the water. Okay, so let's clean good. this off. It's got pink on it. Clean that off. Hey, um, it doesn't do anything. It's lost. 
Interesting. Let me see that blue again, and I'll do a swatch blue. next to it that's dry. It looks better dry. It does. Interesting. Use silver. It's definitely... Oh, hello. Silver. Hello. Okay, let me move it in the light. Bring it on up and move it in the light. Well, on black, they're much prettier. But the activated did nothing. But no, it kind of washed it away. Yeah. Interesting. Well, here's pewter. Looks very similar to the silver. A little more gray in it, I think. Yeah. It's a, a tone. <laughs> I had to look at my cheat sheet. Cheater, cheater, pumpkin eater. Yep. Get away from good and keep it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll hand you this black and you can keep swatching and have fun. Here's your blue pencil back. <laughs> okay. Very cool. All right. It looks better unactivated, if you ask me. I agree. But Very on white, it looked better activated. Yes. So that's probably the, the way to use them, is if you're on white, hit them with this water. This is antique gold here. <laughs> All are right. They, are they leaning towards your green? His bronze. I'm going to tuck these away. I don't want to get my supplies mixed up with your supplies. That would be a good thing. Okay. This one is copper. Oh, look at your yellow. It's got a booboo. I'll show them. It's got an owie. Look at that. It has an owie. Do you guys um, follow... Um, Faber Castell on Instagram. Are you mm -hmm. on Instagram? Mm -mm. I need to be, I think. Um, they've Here been posting is that the most color. Things. <gasps> my favorite. Mm -hmm. She's watching my favorite. I'll hit it with water, too. I won't make you. <laughs> I won't make you. Bev says that she uses them dry on black cards. Yeah, they're really pretty. She a purple, sweetie. Okay, I'll activate And Zariah says, almost like two sets of pencils. Water pencils yeah. on the white and dry on black. Yeah, look at very see on strange. Black. They're shining pretty good. I wouldn't say they're vibrant and like the packaging says, but they're pretty. Very strange. Cheryl says um, Spectrum Noir are fantastic metal pencils. Okay. Oh, I wonder if I bought those. Anyway, we're not here to compare right now. We're here to, to show and tell. Okay, there's the purple. It's a Here's nice red violet. Green. You didn't activate the purple over here. No, I didn't because I think they're so much prettier not activated on the black. I concur. That's the green. There's the green. Oh, yeah, they're really fun activated on the, on the white. And this one was the one that I thought did not come anywhere close to the name. Huh. I'm not going to tell you the name. Okay. You tell me what color that is. It's like a lime um. or maybe an avocado. Jennifer says um, that she was disappointed in them. Dry, they show metallic sheen. When you add water, the sheen disappears. Uh -huh. I'm glad it's not just us. That's they're calling yellow. That's not yellow. That's it's because they. <gasps> it's the elusive dark yellow. And here's your red. Um, if we keep talking about um, color theory. Um, maybe I need to explain. We have been um, practicing color theory with our Bliss Partners. We have weekly workshops over um, if you become a Bliss Partner, which I highly recommend because we've been studying mm -hmm. color theory. It's worth every penny. <laughs> we've been I've having learned so much fun. So much. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad, Polly, because we've been studying color theory. And we, last night we were discussing how did you find a dark yellow that isn't like a yellow orange? and it doesn't go brown what is dark yellow and i wonder if that is why they called it yellow because it's they've added like yeah, a gray when to you it. Add black it goes more that yeah. as we learned on the but color that yellow. Does, uh -huh. it looks kind of sort of a little yellow on the black on the black it looks more yellow Interesting. but it's still not yellow no i see more of a green tint to yeah. it interesting oh color is so fascinating Okay. Okay, so that that was the other thing she then got. Then I picked up. And that pointed out that somehow the Derwents look more vibrant once they're shown a against another wheel. color. Oh. I picked up the big wheel. 
we've been um, this is the color wheel we've been studying and learning on with the bliss partners and I bought a big one and Polly's like I need a big one too so I can read all the right exactly <laughs> old eyes so we found it at um, Blick for a really good price especially compared to Michael's you have to get a coupon and everything to get this price that they had it for at Blick so that was fantastic okay, I bought some of the Karen Dash like you Ooh, did let's see the colors you got Okay, I'll bring Can this one, not that one. I'm having camera difficulties. <laughs> Let's bring this over These here. empty tea tins come in handy. Oh, yeah. Well, they have lids. I yes. get these for hot cocoa. They have these mm -hmm. tins, too, and I save them. <laughs> He's broken. No. Um, Kelly says, um, no. Steve and Jen, I tried the yellow tri blend with artichoke, and I think I like it best for a dark yellow now. Oh, that was the big discussion last Those night. Those are the ones I got. I'll so, to put some tape or something. Yeah, there. a little washi tape. You want to do that right now? Let's see if I've got a blue. Oh, I'll bump that camera if we do that right now. This we'll one's got a... Uh, I'm not going to bend it all the way, but it's a little bit broken, so she'll have to fix that. I've got um, a Kohinoor woodless that broke like this, and I had to mend it. And what I did was I put some hot glue in it, and then pushed it shut, and hmm. then put some tape around it. And now I can, like, grip it as hard as I want, and it does just fine. So that's how I would recommend mending it. Grabbed. Melinda so just donated, friends. and she says... Thanks for all you do. Oh, thank you so much, so that's Melinda. Melinda, reading and coloring enthusiast. Oh, thank you. And I put them in my and little tin. She's collecting them in her tin because we are collectors, and not lots orders. Of in the tin there for so more. So you can get more. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. So that's really good. Those are pretty. So why did you pick these colors? Because Steve had, you know, well, I kind of went with the light and medium here. Mm hmm Because I didn't see it. Uh, another shade that fit in there yeah and here i want the light medium and dark that's and that's what i was trying to do here and then you have an orange yes i had the orange just well orange is a good um with the with the blue with the color scheme selector orange comes up a lot in those color schemes have you noticed so it makes a good tri tone uh tri uh what's it triad Orange so, and blue. Mm -hmm. Rachel asked, how do you sharpen neo colors? <gasps> Carefully. I don't know. I've never... I don't <laughs> think you sharpen them. I think you peel them. Look like a crayon? Yeah, look. Look, look, look on the side here. Oh. have got scallopy things with arrows. Okay, I'm not going to do it to yours. Let me show you. Uh, no, not that one. You guys are having such camera problems. Okay, they have on the side these arrows. And at each arrow, it's like a scallop, and I'm not going to be able to pull it up. But it's like whoop, whoop with the paper. You like my sound effect? Whoop, whoop, whoop. So I'm assuming you pull it back and wrap it around and then keep That's coloring. That's right, I guess. But she's right, though. Like, if you wanted this at a nice sharp point so you could get into a detail, like in here like this, and the more you yeah, color, it's it. going to get more and more dull so you know like crayola used to have um the sharpener in the back sharpener. of the box oh yeah the, that, the yeah. 64 pack yeah, yeah. <clears throat> maybe crayola still makes something like that that we could use for yeah buy a whole 64 pack i think <laughs> <laughs> maybe we'll have to go check out and see what they do huh? walmart yeah no, activate it with the yeah, powder. but look how dark the color is even without activating. I'm so curious to see. Okay, Steve, here comes your blue. Let's make sure this is clean so we don't contaminate. Okay, oh. That's more of a purple. Oh. What was Coming the name? Purple is that the blue? really dark one? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I wondered if it would be. Oh, look at that. It's this one. Yeah. Wow, Zers. And they're calling this indigo blue. blue. Indigo, yeah. Wow. Okay, now let's see what it does as it dries. Is it going to go, it's going lighter. Yeah. Interesting. Uh, Rachel says that yes, Crayola does still make the sharpener. She has a couple of their standalone sharpeners. Oh, a standalone? Uh -huh. Let's see what it for that. Now, now Polly's starting to I can't not try these. So it went quite a bit lighter. Have you guys had that experience with yours that they go lighter? This is so curious. Oh, look, look at 
Okay, we got to try one of the other colors of these. Um, this is a blue. Let's see which one this one is. This is blue. <coughs> blue. 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 Let's see what this is going to do. Oh, that's the French. Blue. Blue. And that's how my French teacher, because I grew up, you know, when you're little in Canada, yeah, you have to take French. Yes. And so she and you said, walk you into the blue. <laughs> and you walk into the dollar store and they swear they don't speak English, but they tell it to you in English. <laughs> I went, and then you and then you move to Canada to U.S. as a little tiny girl, and your your teachers get mad at you because you spell everything French Canadian, and so then you give up and the rest of your life you're scarred. <laughs> Poor widow Jennifer. There you and go. you learn Look at that. The, the metric system, and then you give up in in math too. Hand me the pen. The, yeah, Robin yeah. says they make a palette board specific for use with the Neocolor 2. A palette board? What's a palette, a palette board? palette board. Tell us more about this palette board. Uh, Deanna <laughs> says you peel them. Okay. Uh, Melinda it's says M&R makes a sharpener for the Neos. It's <gasps> in Blick. <gasps> Ooh, so this much is uh, Kelly says, I remember reading someone posting that you can get a crayon sharpener from Blake and keep it just for your needles and then use the shavings too. <gasps> yes, the shavings. You could spray and then psh, 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 and, and they would activate. And mentioned using an eyebrow pencil sharpener. <gasps> yes, I have one right over there. Steve in, oh no, he won't know what he's looking for. <laughs> Jan might. <laughs> And Melinda says His Walmart. wife grew up in the industry, remember? <laughs> <laughs> Melinda says Walmart also has the M&R sharpener. It's plastic and either yellow or green. Oh, okay. oh. M&R. Okay. We'll have to look at okay. that. I love, I love our community, how we have a question and they oh, just fill in this. all the blanks. And Soraya says, I it's use my pretty. wet brush on the flat end and paint instead of coloring first. That way my points stay pointy. Oh, yeah. So she's talking about, I got to steal that. Oh, we, we can get, we don't need just one. We've got All like right. 20 of them. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Maybe. Does that one got water? It does. Yes, it does. Okay, so. No, I'm going to give you an empty one. <laughs> well, some of them are empty. Let's make sure it flows. We are having flowing issues. All right, so Look I think that. what she's talking about is you can either use an ordinary brush, dip it in and get it wet, or a water brush and make sure the bristles are wet and then you just touch the tip and you'll be able to pick up pigment off the tip. And Soraya, and again, if I'm saying your name wrong, just correct me, so says uh, they like to do it on the flat end and then keep the right so i instead no, of I'm picking the other up side. Oh, oh the this best end. end i think that's what i mean ah brilliant it's not picking got to kind of get it started it's like it's got a powdery coating on it probably from manufacturing possibly like you know when you make candy you put cornstarch mm -hmm. on it i bet it's the same idea there it goes so it's not uh, it's definitely orange more watered pretty. down did we get the same orange no Ooh, you got a lighter orange. Got a pastel. Oh, this is just so fun. Okay, so this is one thing I was going to mention. How valuable a mandala is for playing around with new art tools. Um, mandalas are the perfect place to goof around with art tools because you don't have to worry about skin tones or grass or, you know, this is supposed to be green. With a mandala, you can do any color you want. So um, come print off this mandala. It's free. And if you have some new art tools that you want to play around with or tools you haven't played enough with, then you just play around with them on a mandala because nothing has to be a certain color. You can just experiment and enjoy. So have you ever used a mandala that way to to so experiment? Do yeah, well get over it. Polly, there's one right there. Start playing. So <laughs> we can buy it honestly. <laughs> Alright, so show oh, us what else you these. got. I'll put and mine then over the here. The last thing I had to feed was my pan pastel collection. Yes, you are way farther. I have six pan pastels mm -hmm. that were gifted to me. I wonder who sent them to you. <laughs> <laughs> now, Jackie, going back to the, the others, here's another tip. Um, to the neo pastels? Yeah. So or neo colors, them, sorry. Right, scribble them on vellum paper and pick up Ooh. your color with a paintbrush. The vellum will dry and you can still activate at a later time. 
That's a great idea. So like a non-porous surface like vellum would work. Uh oh, Mary Lynn's filling FSS coming on and asked how many colors do the Neos come in? Too many. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. We didn't. We didn't. Yeah, they have tins. And of course, usually, usually, if you buy a, like a tin of them, you'll get them with a less cost per pencil or per marker or per um, crayon. crayon. So that's usually the best way to do it. Like the... Um, where are the ones we're giving away this week, Steve? The That's it. Right here? No, the Tombos. Oh, I don't know. What did you do with them? Oh, did you put right them back in the bag? When I bought these Tombos, they actually ended up being cheaper per marker when I bought it this way. Uh, $1.70 per marker this way. Then when I bought them at Tombo, at Blick, um, per marker open stock, they were more like 230, 260 per marker this way. So if you want to start a collection, sometimes the best way is to buy a package first. But it just depends. Like I'm buying, I bought just six of these because I don't want to invest in a full tin, which would have been 30 or $40 for a tin. If and this something. way it was more like, um, I think it was two something a pencil. $1.86 a pencil. $1.86. So that way it's a little less money. I can play around with them, see if I like them better than my existing water soluble pencils. And it just works out better when you already have some that are similar um, you know, I already have water soluble pencils, so I don't necessarily need more, but I might want them. So this is a good way to start. So think about it that way too. I usually do the math and figure out per, per mm -hmm. item, what's the best way to go and then decide what I want to do. How deep do I want to go? <laughs> a few more, um, recommendations. Well, first of all, Danny does say I've been using this mandala to try out luminance, luminance oh, good. colored combos. Oh, luminance are uh, beautiful. Jackie, speaking of that vellum paper, clarified it's a transparent vellum paper that she uses, and the water doesn't absorb into the fibers. I wonder oh. if palette paper would work for that. I bet it would, yeah. Robin says the Neo Color 2 come in 84 colors. 84. And Soraya uh, <laughs> wanted me to uh, <laughs> mention about not throwing away the shavings. Mm -hmm. uh, when you do that because you can use those yeah the shavings you can sprinkle them on the background of a coloring page and spritz, spritz them with, them with a little water. water and they'll start to sort of melt and into each other so if you know you want blue you could do like three different colors of blue and spritz them and watch them melt and do magic and it's now, beautiful now lark says that there's 120 colors in there so oh, uh -oh. sounding better and better <laughs> uh -oh. either one sounds great we'll have to do a little research and find out which one it is i guess so in front of me is i was gifted with a set of the dark tones and i fell in love with them so, so I've started to build my collection. So these are Pam Pastels. If you're not familiar with Pam Pastel, Pam Pastel is a brand name. Um, they are soft pastels. We've talked before on this channel about the difference between oil pastels, soft pastels, and hard pastels. Pam Pastels are soft pastels. So think blush, think um, eyeshadow. That's I've kind of a different the consistency. Oil they're not oil based. That's what I've been told by many men. Um. Yeah, I, I don't think they are. Maybe they have a little bit of oil in them. I don't know. But they are considered a soft, soft pastel because you can have different degrees inside each soft pastel, hard pastel. You can have different degrees. So maybe they do have a little oil. I'd love to hear from Polly who knows more about them than I do. But from what I understood, they are considered a soft soft pastel they're very creamy they are very they are their own creature pam pastel is like considered high art professional type grade and they are like butter and oh, they're, so delightful they're to work yeah with. they are pricey and yes, they, they are. when you buy them typically they are um these little almost like little compacts look like pans. makeup and that's where they get their name they're like little pans and then usually you need i don't know how do you yeah, get it i don't, very easy. I don't own one of these pass oh okay just see. turn it and pull okay and then i'll show them the magic trick give me another one yeah. you can store them let me get you in here 
you can store them by screwing them together. So they stack. So this is a great way to travel with them. Uh, that or, mine just sit in their pallets. Which I think is even safer, and you can see them all. So, um, yeah. And then when you're amazing. ready to use it, you just... Yep. Yeah. So that's one way to store them. Or you can buy these plastic pallets, which I think they're safer that way. And you I can think see so. all This way, colors. when I'm working, I can open it up, and I can pick and choose what I need. And do you organize them? Like, I would probably sit down and be like... Just all my yellows here, yep. all my blues here. Well, take a look through what you've got in front of you. <laughs> Let's look. <laughs> Let's look, everyone. Hey, so nice. Very pretty. So the trays. The one on the bottom. Oh <laughs> beautiful grays. Now, one of these this I think it's this black one. Let's show oh these no, are metallics. This one. This one. Oh. Okay. Ha is what they call Fine black pearl medium. Oh, see, I, I noticed they had like mediums and oh, like that one. That's the black medium. So this is what the backs look like in case you've ever wondered. They have names. And numbers. So you can keep track. Uh, there are That's whole, all my whites, grays, and blacks. Are on and that they have thing. a translucent too, right? Is that that one? Okay. I think that's the blending the colorless. See. Colorless blender. Yeah. Yes. So there's even techniques for that. And these are the metallic. I got to uh -oh, see what these have, look like. Oh, you have people drooling. Uh oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm drooling too, man. I have a few things. Thankfully, I have a few. But look at those metallics. Um, cards are my canvas yeah. asked. I don't think you have to set these, right? Or do you? I usually do just because... It can rub. Yeah, I, I think it's a typical pastel. You, you really should set them. Oh, they're just so there. They come with tools typically too. Yes, we have a bunch of tools at home. And or you can. What's the matter, Baby? You can use like um, cotton, or you can so you use. use um, um, that's oh, that's so pretty. Like a coppery color and. Oh, we got lots of pretties. Okay, let's see. This is the tray she was Even thinking. Even after, look at this. I'm still rubbing color off. Yeah, they they go. They really highly pigmented. They run for. Holly oh, Jennifer thinks that you need your own YouTube channel. She'd oh. love to learn how to do cards from you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She loves seeing how you do your Passover uh, cards. Ah, uh, mm -hmm. Loves seeing you have. Fun. And this would match your shirt. And yeah. Melinda is, <laughs> Melinda also this, verified that pan pastels need a fixative. Yeah. Okay. Is that in that one you have my tealy shirt right there? Yeah. And look, she has one purple just for me. Oh, a couple. A couple. That purples. came in the set from <laughs> a very dear beloved friend who sadly has passed. Oh, so you keep them there to remember her. Yes. And they are just amazing. My friend Maddie. I mentioned something to her how I wanted to get some, and she gave me the tints. She says, I'm awesome. never going to use them. Mm -hmm. So how many did you buy at Blick? Only 10. That's so cool. I didn't know you got that many. That's awesome. I was asked to keep it to 10 right now. <laughs> and because we are, we are very thoughtful with our collection. Well, he we knew I was going to buy other things. So Well, and they're expensive. Yes, they are. They are, uh, but they last a long time. Absolutely. Because they're so pigmented, they you just need a I little mean, bit. I and still have a little go. bit of the pigment on my finger, so and I've wiped it off. And they're beautiful. I wonder if you could use them for makeup. <laughs> <laughs> I <better> wouldn't. Than... <laughs> <laughs> There's cadmium in some of yeah, them. Yeah, not, not art so supplies are not necessarily yeah. good for you. <laughs> but we don't talk about that. <laughs> That's to be careful. Yeah. Tanya thinks this is... Uh, her next FSS. Yeah, yeah. These I, I'm neat. working on it. I have gotten. Yeah, let's see your sweat, your swatches. That's as far as I've gotten. Now these new ones are not swatched on here. Yeah. As of yet. So you need to do some swatching, young yes, lady. Me. <laughs> yes, boss. <laughs> yep. Get to work. Well, she made me dinner, so yes, you've been I working. Did. So. <laughs> I cooked you dinner. It was delicious roast chicken and green beans and deliciousness. So. See? There's the pewter. Oh, there's the so pearly green. Very pretty. There's her purples right here. The numbering system is screwy as yeah, all get out. Very confusing, but 
um, I like that there's tints and, and like light mediums and darks you can build. And it, there's tints, there's tone, there's, the, as you say, the pure color. Yep. Yeah. So it, I think they're very thoughtful. They're very working towards an artist who needs a good array of colors and depth. Oh, absolutely. And, this is definitely an artist yeah, medium. Professional. Definitely. Yeah. Professional grade here. These are things that artists, like professional artists, drool over here. So if this is out of your price range, um, I totally get it. That's why I've never bought them. And the only ones I have were gifted to me. So that's why I don't, I haven't gone this direction yet. I have purchased pastels to play with. And they're a lot more affordable. And you can get a whole bunch of colors in a nice little box and play with them. So you don't have to go this route if it's too pricey. Or you can do like I did with the Albert Durers and just buy a few and play with it and see if you're like, oh yeah, this is so worth it. I'm going to save up and slowly build my set like Polly's doing. Or if you are wealthy and have all the money in the world, you can buy the entire set and it is less money that way. When you buy the full set, it's less money per pan. But it's a lot of money up front. <laughs> But, oh man, wouldn't Let's that be a I fun have. thing to buy? The full thing all at once? Wouldn't that be a fun package to get in the mail? So are these 70 only. as expensive as um, like Copics? They might I be more. more so. Wow. Yeah, because then you have to buy the tools too. Oh, the tools you can get away with. I've bought makeup oh, yeah. tools that are that like very dense, spongy. So that's you use mainly sponges for them. I've got their tools too, but... I wonder if I have some of theirs here that we could show real quick. Because I think you sent me a few. I think I did. Let's do show and tell of the tools. And you can use cotton swabs. You can use... Yeah, this is my pastel drawer here. They you can see. use um, makeup sponges. I mean, there's so many yeah. options out there that have can. Have seen that before? Isn't that cool? No. What are this? Aha! Aha! What is this? It's to shave and <laughs> sharpen Deanna. your pastels. Deanna's chanting to herself, I'm not buying anything. I'm not buying anything. So the way okay, I... Okay, these wait. are the pan pastel tools. Oh, Can see this Robin wants pan pastels, but Holbein's first. Yep. So these are their tools. Really dense. And these More can dense be washed than... out, and you can use them for different colors. Yeah, let me show you compared to a makeup wedge. And you can use how different. The what density. I would do is I'll use each side of it for a different color. See, this is way more dense. This but is that can really be squishy. used. That can be used. Yep. For, so I've got. There's both. no reason you can't take. Here, let's pull this one out just for Jenny. <laughs> Did you guys already say or know how many they have in a set? Uh, um, in the full set? Yeah. I don't know. I move these out of the way. Let's see. Is that this oh. is all so there's sixty plus forty eight? Alright, Miss Jim. Hundred and eight right here. No. Not all of those are filled in. Okay, that's just see, two light strokes, this. Jennifer. Oh yeah, see. And it <laughs> get in here, Polly. Show them how it's done. And this is um, and this pigment will go forever. And, and this is ever, not the best paper for and it. Ever. My color pencil paper is the best paper if as far as the paper I have. It'll go forever and ever and ever. Yep, Zariah, uh, husband came up with a good uh, name for tonight's show. It's show and tool. Yeah, I like that a lot. <laughs> and then you can take that. See, it keeps going. And that's just two little strokes. That's, that's the difference that between is. my other pastels. And then you can take... It wouldn't keep going like that. You'd have to keep re-dipping and what, what's re... What's this one down here? Don't you dare um, drop Angela, those. Angela says that Amazon has an 80... <laughs> Amazon has an There's 80 set for $290. And then Ooh, uh, it sounds like that doesn't bad. include metallics. Yeah. And so Kelly's thinking it's around 90 when you include the metallics. Well, that's actually not too bad. 96 is ringing a bell. And Kelly says 92, um, including far? the colorless blender. So, yeah, somewhere around there. 
Ooh, you might get to blend the, together. You want to blend it with a little colorless? See what it does? Sure. Okay, where's the colorless Do you need blender? another wedge? No, you can still have room on that one. This is my, um, my stash of supplies that I keep for working with pastels. So I have a little bit of everything. I've got cotton rounds, cotton swabs, cotton squares, tissues, makeup wedges, cotton balls, makeup applicators. This is my little for playing with pastels. And this was okay, a box that I got washi right tape there. in. <laughs> right there. Okay. So she loaded me up with colorless blender right here. What do you do? I've never done it. Blend. Just in the middle or off Wherever to the side? Whatever you wanted to I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Knock your socks off. Have fun. Okay. It's not doing much. I don't... Maybe it's the paper I'm on? Maybe I already... Oh, it's blending out a little bit. I think I need to practice more. Oh, there it goes. I need to be patient. Patience is a virtue. Mm -hmm. I'm virtuous. <laughs> Yeah, there it's starting to go. Now, the when I was researching these, they all had the colorless blender and were doing some amazing things with them. I want to see what I want to see what this black guy does. Let me help you with that. Thank you. I'm so curious. Is that one of your new ones? Yes. Uh -huh. hmm. So pretty. Now it's going right over the. Oh, over your other things. The watercolors. Oh, it's, we could just sit here and just be all relaxed. and See, this is what I'm talking about. I love that our collection is something that then you can sit and spend hours enjoying your collection. And, and at the end, you have a piece of art that then you can display and show. Is and the silver? Oh. I think that's silver. Is that, is that silver? What are you? It's very yep. light. He's silver. Is he metallic? Yes. Why is silver a he, I wonder? They're all he's. Because <laughs> they give me hissy fits that makes them he's. <laughs> Let's see. That is very Oh, sad. yeah. You want the pewter? The pewter should be darker. Move it in the light. Here you go. Let's try some pewter. <laughs> so what we ended up doing last time. Steve's just smiling. So is Jan. <laughs> like, I was like... Kids in a candy shop here. Could flip your paper over. That's more, that's the pewter. Oh, it's picking up the purples. This is what makes pastel so fun is the mm -hmm. way they blend and and it's and what's nice is you can take all right, you see how dark this is? Yeah. You can take that right into Ooh, it did a little bit of a that'll come off. That'll come that. right off. You need a tissue or something. Oh, there's the napkin. See, oh. It'll come. I don't want you to leave your camera on and do art all night. <laughs> <laughs> it's off. Oh, yeah. There's something here. Okay, I'll move it in the light. Yeah, it picks up a sheen. Oh, it's just subtle and pretty. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's even better on the camera, the sheen. Oh, yeah. Wow. Bling, 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 bling. The sharpies that I got are blinging. The only one that's not blinging are the ones that claimed to be so oh, very vibrant. blingy. And that's those metallic. Any other colors you yeah. want to play with? Well, what time is it? We're coming to the end here. Okay. What, is there anything else you bought? Not at Blick. Did you go shopping another day? No, not I did yet? not. Not yet. <laughs> Although my husband was so kind, Monday when we... I came home from Blick, and I was griping how my Tombos are in a case that makes it near impossible to take them in and out. Yeah. So he went on to Blick and ordered me the proper Tombow case, as well as the rest of the Marabou crayons. <laughs> that is a good man. He knows well where he's done. He knows how to keep his <laughs> wife happy. Because uh, you were like, we saw the case. The Tombos have a new case. When and I, they, I told him, I won't spend that money on it. I know. You were like, that's I told too him, much. Nope, you walked away bad. from it. You were such a good girl. And you walked away. <laughs> <laughs> but it's really a good just case. Um, Tombo, when they came out with their new 12. Just that little bit that was on my knuckle. <laughs> I can't get it off. 
when they came out with their new 12, they came out with a new hard shell case that opens like an accordion. Yeah, it's really cool. It's really neat, and it holds all 108. And so I took her back to show her because I knew she was in the hunt for a case. And but it was I can't remember how much thirty dollars and, and she I just wasn't already had her hands full of all these other supplies and so she's like nope I can't do it I'm walking away I'm a good girl For she once. was a good girl she walked away but it sounds like her husband stepped up and took good this care of her your markers thank you okay. so that belongs there these are your polychromos yes, they go back home Put them right here in yours. And when they get, when I get my new Look at her stash. case. And we'll check out my we'll polychromos we'll before. We'll swap. And we'll see what we can do to help fill out your set yeah. a little bit. We're all We're saying that sweet of you. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty I cool. So how many Maribus are you? And is it coming in from Blick? Is that where you ordered it? So now you just have to sit back and wait. Yeah. Which is and the Blick hardest is part. And Blick is a little slow. Do they ship it straight to that RV? Yes, they'll sh ship it directly to the park. This. That's great. Yes. Uh, we have received many, quite a few packages already oh, from the cool. park. That's great. So now you just wait. Yes, That's the, the hardest, hardest part. <laughs> <laughs> but the anticipation, too, is part of the fun. That's part of the collecting. No. No, I then, want it. But then you get it. And it, it it's like, ordered. Oh. It's mine. I paid for it. I want it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. It's like whenever I order anything from any of the sites online or anything, I paid for it. It's mine. I want it. Yeah, that's true. The immediate gratification isn't there, but but the anticipation this is, very is interesting. Good. Yeah. All right. Well, I think this was lots of fun. I, f I feel really spoiled and grateful that um, I got to enjoy going to Blick with you. Me and too. I feel really spoiled fun. with all my art supplies, but I am extra grateful that I get to share it with all of you, with you. I'm grateful that um, art has that power, that we can share it together and give so much joy to each other. I don't know anyone who doesn't find some sort of joy from art. Do you know anyone? Have you ever run across someone that doesn't find joy from art? I mean, I know some people don't like to sit down and do art, but I think everyone finds a certain amount of joy from art. Absolutely. I just received a post from a friend of mine in Nebraska who went to a Judaic art show, Ooh. and she said she had to buy this one particular piece. It spoke to her. Oh, neat. I bet that was neat. That's one of the things I'm excited about when hopefully someday we can start traveling a little more is getting to get out and see more art. And I want to get out and see, you know, what are people doing and, and be with you guys too. Like I'm getting so much joy out of sitting with Polly and, and doing art with her. And I don't know, it's, it's different, you know, doing it with all of you on YouTube has been such a joy to me and I'm grateful that we have this platform to share art together. But there's something special about being in the same room together. So hopefully Absolutely. someday Steve and I can get out and come to you and we can sit together. That's one of my dreams is that Coloring Bliss can come to you guys and maybe I can come to your state or your part of the country and I don't know, maybe even we can leave the country maybe we can go to new zealand i know we have some fans in new zealand or we can go to <laughs> australia or i know we have fans all over the world wouldn't that be fun and go do art with all that of you getting on an airplane you can't take an rv but... i know okay. and i can go on the airplane with my little four smack wheelchair though okay. they give me preferred treatment in my little wheelchair did you know that yes i did <laughs> it is a little I'm awkward married to but a i can do former it. airman yeah it's pretty cool. So maybe someday soon. We're, Steve and I are working really hard towards that because it really is a special thing to get out and share this. And yes, we joke about it being a, a syndrome and, and that we suffer from it, but it really is a blessing. It's a blessing to ourselves and a blessing to others. So let's rejoice in that together. It has been a true joy yeah. being with you and oh, Steve. Oh, I'm grateful. I am too. It's really been a blessing, so... And especially the last couple of weeks have been physically hard for me, and it's been fun to um, have a distraction from it. So thank you. Oh, for is that. that what I am? A distraction? Yeah, okay. you are. <laughs> a, a blessing and a distraction. She's brought me dinner twice, and yeah, it's been really great. So. It's nice to have someone to cook for. <laughs> I've forgotten how to cook just for two. I don't know how. 
to be on to. <laughs> no, I, I still cook like the, for the family. Oh, do you still cook in that big yes, amount? Yes, Well, the I leftovers can't. are great, though. I can't get it in my head that <laughs> just the two of you. <laughs> that you would be really harsh. Much. Well, and then like a chicken, you can't buy like half a raw chicken. You have to cook a full chicken. Exactly. And we did justice to the chicken. Yeah, it was really good. Thank you. The dogs enjoyed it, too. Yes, they did. <laughs> <laughs> Are there any last minute nope, questions? No, they just like the idea of a coloring bliss convention. Yeah, a, I would totally caravan. Think so all of us need to get RVs and caravan around. Oh, that would be fun. Or we'll caravan to them. Okay. Where are we going when? I don't know. I've got the rig. You just need to get we're, yours. We're still working on it. we got to earn a little bit more money. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> we're working on it. We're working hard on it. So, And thanks to all of you guys. That's It's making it possible. So we're working hard on it. So don't forget to go and enter for the giveaway because we have these beautiful pens. Pens. I called them pens. Oh, I did good. I've been trying to retrain. So we have these beautiful pens for the giveaway. And we have this mandala. That's the giant mandala. So come and get this one too. So follow all the links. Come and get them. And we'll announce the winner of these pens um, next Wednesday. So make sure you come and join us. And again, I want to apologize for the problems we had over on Facebook. Not much we can do about it. So we are here on YouTube where it seemed to stream just fine. So that's great. Now I want to say thank you to those of you who financially supported us tonight with your donations. So Steve, can we have a shout out to those who helped yes. us? Carolyn. <laughs> Carolyn. Mary Lynn. Mary Lynn. Don. 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 Polly. Polly. Jack. <laughs> Jack. And Melinda Reading and Coloring Enthusiasts. Melinda Reading and Coloring Enthusiasts. <laughs> thank you so much for all of the support. You guys are getting us closer to all of our goals we really are working hard towards some big goals and one of them is hopefully getting in an rv and coming out to see you guys in person was i supposed to share that no. Steve's <laughs> like oh, whatever you just did so whatever <laughs> so that is so cool thank you so much for all your support it really does mean a lot so i hope you had fun looking at all of our fun Always stuff <laughs> And I will see you guys next Wednesday. We do have a lot of fun things coming your way, including two new Mandela Bliss books. So hope you're looking forward to that. And we have other secrets that Steve will get mad at me if I share. So I'm going to keep yeah, my right. mouth shut. So <laughs> you guys have a wonderful day. And I hope you celebrate your full set syndrome just like I am too. So, And yeah, have a wonderful day. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye. <laughs>